For generations, farmers along Deep Creek have used the stream and gravity to irrigate their crops. And in drought years during the peak of irrigation demands, Deep Creek would end right here at this irrigation headgate, leaving the lower five miles of the stream dry and still inadequate to meet the needs of the farmers. We had trouble delivering water through the irrigation ditch, and so I had to turn one pivot off a lot earlier than I would have liked to have, so it cost quite a lot in crop. You know, we didn't have to sample fish in here to monitor because it was essentially dry on years like this. Nearby, but at a lower elevation than the cropland, flows the Broadwater, Missouri Canal. So the NRCS works uh, exclusively with private landowners to help them improve their, their operations. And we were able to develop this irrigation project, taking a point of diversion off of the creek to the Broadwater, Missouri Canal, and then provide a cost share uh, incentive to help reduce some of that risk to convert over to new systems. When I open this valve here, it allows those pumps to be activated where you have a more reliable water source, you can deliver water when that crop needs it so much more uh, reliably. In the past year, we've had no problem whatsoever delivering water when we needed it. We're already starting to see fish colonize and we actually see some people fishing in this area. And so it's kind of a classic win-win situation. The Broadwater Missouri Canal is a much more stable source of water for the irrigators. And Lower Deep Creek has returned as a favorite local fishery. This is Mike Gurnett, out with Montana's Fish, Wildlife and Parks.